For the Circuit Python Parsec today, I wanted to talk about light attenuation in LEDs. So this is the topic of how does perception work versus reality. In reality, if you want to have a set of LEDs fade from, let's say, full brightness to off over the course of a discrete number of LEDs, you'd think that the best way to do that would to just be divide it by the number of LEDs and fade, 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 fade. However, uh, human visual perception doesn't work that way. So if you look at this first row here, when I press the first button, that is a linear attenuation or a linear fade of that light from full bright down to, uh, if there were a next one, it would be zero. So I decided to show the, the final fade step there. Uh, this actually, as you can see, kind of looks uh, like it doesn't have a proper midway point, and that's because of this offset between how our eyes work. We're very uh, sensitive to lighter light intensities. Uh, and so if you've ever heard the term gamma correction, it can apply both to color as well as to brightness. So uh, if you take a look at, instead of a linear interpolation, if I do a different type of interpolation, let's do a logarithmic one, you can see here, I've pushed out that intensity much further. So again, it still doesn't look like quite an even fade to me. Looks like it favors the, the lower brightness levels. Uh, so now let's try a quadratic uh, one. This one actually would work better on a really long uh, string, but it's not, still not quite right. And then I'm going to get to the one I really like, which is the exponential fade. And I'm going to turn off these two middle ones so we can compare them. This feels linear. Uh, it looks like the steps between them are even. Now the way I'm doing this is by simply having a number of different functions that get called depending on the row. Uh, if I press the first button in a row, it cycles between those four types. Uh, I didn't have eight types to explore. And if I press any other button, I can turn them off. So I can uh, do a little comparison between them easily there. And then those uh, different functions that I'm running are here as linear fade, logarithmic fade, quadratic fade, and exponential fade. And those formulas there, you can check these out. I'm gonna include the code in the blog post that goes out uh, with this, so you can take a little uh, closer look at them, but they are uh, fairly simple expressions that you can look up online for dealing with exponential values, quadratic values, logarithmic values, and linear values. And so that is how you can explore light attenuation on LEDs inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.